Welcome. This is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. Last week I shared how to download a collection of fabric called Coco Chic. These reproduction fabrics are reminiscent of 1920s Art Deco designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to use that fabric and recreate a quilt I found on the quilt index from the 1920s called Brickworks. I am in the Coco Chic project and I will select Design a Quilt from Scratch. Select a new quilt and in the ribbon toolbar select the style Vertical Strip. Select the Design tab and select Layer 3. Select Photo Tools. Select Open Library. Select Import from Image Files. My quilt image is stored in my EQ8 images. I will select the uh, image and select open and then select add to sketchbook and close. Now I'm going to take the image and I'm going to be on layer three and drag the image to the right of the quilt. Select it with the adjust tool and turn on Preserve Aspect Ratio. Drag a corner to resize the image so it is more visible. Next, I need to count the number of bricks both horizontally and vertically. I found it useful to start in the center and then count the number for a quarter of the block. There are 11 full bricks from the center of the quilt to the top of the quilt. I will multiply that times 2 and will need 22 bricks vertically. And then if I go to the left of this center, I have 17 bricks. I'll multiply that times 2 and also add 1 for the uh, row in the center for a total of 35. Select Layout. Select the first strip and under Strip Style, Select half drop blocks. We're going to make the width of each strip one inch and we're going to make the length two times the number of blocks or 44 inches. Set the number of blocks along length at 22. Then select the second strip and for this we're going to select the strip style pieced blocks. Change the width to one inch and change the number of blocks along the length to 22 as well. This will give us alternating blocks in every other strip. Now select strip number three and select delete and do the same with strip number four. Select strip number one and click on Clone the selected strip and select Add. Then select strip number two and do the same. Continue to select strip number one followed by strip number two and select Add until you have a total of 35 vertical strips. Now if you reach a limit in terms of being able to clone and add, Go to Work Table Options and select Strip Quilts. And notice that there is a maximum number of strips. And I'm going to change that to 50 to give myself more options and select OK. Then continue to clone and add strip number 1 and 2 until you have a total of 35 strips. Notice that the first and the last have the half block at the top and the bottom. Select the border tab and now change the border to mitered and change the size to a half inch. Then select the design tab, select layer three, select photo tools and with the adjust tool select the photo and move it to the right of the quilt. Select layer one and then select Fabric Tools. Select the paintbrush and notice that there are five different options under the paintbrush. 
select the third option, which is the line brush. To use the line brush, you click, hold, and drag one point of the line to the end point of the line. And everything that the line touches is going to change to the fabric selected. So I'm going to start by using one fabric in the four corners. Then we will repeat the process, but we're going to skip every other set of the bricks. And make sure to use the same fabric in all four corners. If your line touches some bricks you don't want to color, go ahead and use undo and redraw the line. Eventually, you'll be able to connect up the diagonals on the left and the right, and also the diagonals on the top and bottom to create squares. The fastest way to do the remaining patches is to use swap color and select the background and then select one of the uncolored fat patches. Use the paintbrush to clean up any additional items. For the binding, select the paintbrush. If you return the paintbrush options to the first one, which is called the one dot brush, you can use the control or command key with a single click to color all four borders. Once the quilt is done, select layer three. Under photo tools, select adjust, select the image, and select delete. And select add to project <coughs> sketchbook. To determine the amount of fabric, select print and export and select yardage. I'm going to select fat quarters and see if I can do most of the quilt with that. So select preview and note that other than the binding, which is the last fabric listed, it lists the number of fat quarters required along with the number of patches for each of those fabrics. Because of the way this quilt is designed, each patch is a separate block. Let's select one of the bricks and select rotary cutting and do a preview and note that those will need to be cut at two and a half by one and a half. Then select one of the smaller patches and note that they will need to be cut one and a half inches square. Back on the fabric yardage that I printed out, I'm going to note the number of small pieces that are needed and I'm just going to go to the quilt and count and they would just be the partial blocks on the top and the bottom and then I'm going to know that the remaining pieces are going to be the larger ones which are cut one and a half by two and a half and I'll make all of those notes on my yardage chart so I can do all of my cutting from here as well. Now I also did note uh, how much binding I need. I, tend, I like to calculate that separately. And if I want yardage for the background, I made a note of that as well. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.